Katia Essential Training Part 6. We are going to continue with some features within uh, sketching. So for profile, we are going to define an ellipse. And we see that we can specify the center of the ellipse. I'm going to position this in the origin. And afterwards, if I will move my mouse around, we can see that we can define the major radius for the ellipse. And as soon as I will click a location, we can also influence the angle. So the angle from the horizontal up to uh, the mouse location. And afterwards, we can define the minor radius for the ellipse. As soon as I'm going to click a desired location, we're going to have the ellipse feature created. And in my case, uh, the constraints will be overlapped in the middle. So I can select those constraints and I can move them. So for the minor radius, I will drag the diameter over there. And for the major, I will drag it over here. Now we can resize our ellipse by double clicking on those. For example, 100 for the major radius or diameter in this case, and uh, 50 for the smaller one. We can also access additional information regarding the, the already uh, sketched ellipse by double clicking on the profile. We're going to see that we have the angle orientation over here. For example, if I will type over here 45, and if I will go to constraints, I will see that between my horizontal axis and the ellipse, there will be exactly 45 degrees or 135 on, um, on the other side. OK, so that's pretty much everything regarding uh, the creation of, uh, of an ellipse. We can see that the major radius and minor radius are grayed out within the ellipse definition. This is because they are already constrained over here. We can also modify the values for everything within our sketch by going to the edit multi constraint. And we're going to see that all the constraints posi position within the sketch will be available over here. And we can also define some uh, tolerance if, um, if you want to. For example, for the smaller radius, I can add tolerance 0 0.1 for the maximum and 0 0.2 for the minimum tolerance. We can also change additional um, values by double clicking, or we can make just like with the previous sketches that we discussed, we can make this just as a construction element. OK, so let's move forward. We are going to discuss some aspects regarding uh, parabola by focus. And we see that the first input that we need to define is to select a point or click to locate the focus. So in this case, I will uh, position this to, to be the focus. And afterwards, if I will drag my mouse around the screen, I can see that I can define that, that sketch. So I will position it something like this. And as soon as I will click it again, I will have to move the mouse on the screen in order to define the starting location for this. I will choose that point and afterwards I will need to draw the profile. Now if you want to access some of the parametric values of this, uh, this sketch, we can double click that and we're going to see the parabola defini definition. We have the location for the um, focus point. So in this case, it's ex exactly in the origin, so 0, 0. We can change that, for example, 10 and 0. I will have to click OK in order to have that moved. And I can also define the apex point in this case, for example, 25 and minus 25. We are going to see that our newly defined parabola will be positioned like this. We can also go to polar parameters. So we see minus 45 and uh, a radius of 35 in this case. If I'm going to click for that, 
we're gonna see that the Cartesian values for this will be slightly adjusted in order to have that 35 radius okay so that's pretty much regarding the parabola definition if you want to define a larger uh, parabola you can always zoom out with the mouse and we can drag this along so if I'm gonna select this point I'm gonna see that I'm still moving the the whole parabola just like when I would select this so the the whole let's say spline that defines the parabola in order to draw a larger uh, feature it's re usually required to zoom out after that again click on that specify the point define the apex location and after that have it draw further away so for example like this it will be we see 509 and on the other side we're gonna see the that location we can also change those values using some constraints for example i'm gonna select that point all the way to the horizontal we're gonna see this will be a value of 232 so we can slightly adjust that for example 50 we can also choose to go into negative so in this case for lines to points we see that the value should always be a positive value so since we can go into negative like that I'm just gonna have that deleted and I'm gonna drag it again at the top and I will specify a new value over here for example 500 so keep in mind that in some cases if you are already uh, constrained one of those uh, points you will not be able to to go within the that other location so we see they will both be positive so this will be 500 but we can swap the location in order to move around so we can either swap it over here or we can delete the constraint drag it and have that that constraint added again okay so since we discussed the parabola by focus i'm gonna go to the following one which will be hyperbola by focus so again we see that we need to specify the focus point so we can also select a pre-existing point katia will automatically uh, snap to existing points we're gonna see that full uh, blue circle i can select that and afterwards i need to define again that second point that will define our profile we see within the sketch tools that we have an additional parameter over here so if i'm gonna click on for that we are now gonna locate the apex of this and now again we need to draw those two points so if i'm gonna click double click on this one we're gonna see for a hyperbola definition it's quite similar to the previous one but we have this eccentricity over here added so if i'm gonna set this all the way up to two for example we're gonna see that it will be much more open if i'm gonna choose a smaller value something like 0 0.1 so we see that in this case this again is way out of the range so the minimum minimum value should be one so greater than one that means 1.01 and we're gonna see that the profile will look like this and for the last one this is the conic uh, curvature over here we're gonna have some more features within the sketch tools we see that we have the nearest point and by default the first option is uh, to define um, a conic curve using two points 
and we have this either tangent intersection point or we can have start and end tangent if i'm going to enable this start and end tangent we're going to see that we first position the first point afterwards we are going to select the tangent at the first point will be this one and we also need to locate the second point so the second point i'm going to draw it something like this and as soon as i will define the location for the second uh, point that will be tangent if i'm going to move my mouse between those two lines i can define that conical curvature so this will be all the way to the max we see that we have that stop sign so it will no longer pass that distance and as soon as i will bring my cursor within those two lines i can go all the way over here where it will be similar to a line but it still has that uh, curvature on those two edges that tangency so we can define the conical using an, uh, some additional method so this was for two points we can also use the four points so let's see for the uh, four points we are gonna select the first end point afterwards i'm gonna uh, select the tangent for the first point and now we see that we need to define the second point and I'm going to position like this, so additional points. And with the fourth point selected, I can define that curvature. But again, we're going to have those tangencies added over there. Since we had this tangent at passing points. We also have the five points. For the five points, we no longer have that tangent option. So first point, second point first point on, of, of, of the conic second point and now i'm gonna choose the last point and i'm gonna see that if i will move my cursor all the way to the top i will have this profile so this can no longer be extended as a conical curvature but if i'm gonna move my mouse at the bottom i'm gonna see that the curvature will move all the way over here and this will be the final position between uh, those points after you have this created, you can always readjust the points as desired in order to have those position. And we can also double click on this and we see that a conic curve definition will be defined. Be, uh, it will have some constraints limit. So the, the points for start and end. Also, we can select some tangents over here. In this case, we no longer have that point selected. And if you want to take a look at the two points again, we also have the option to add the tangent intersection point. So again, we're going to specify the first point, afterwards the second point, and we're going to see now we need to define um, to look to identify to let's say define that tangent intersection point so in this case i'm gonna go somewhere like this and now if i'm gonna move my mouse further between uh, those two lines i can define that conical curvature okay so i see that this video is already <laughs> Uh, quite long so i will stop here since we discuss everything uh, over here so the ellipse the parabola by focus the hyperbola and also the conical curvature most of these are not that um, used in mechanical engineering mostly ellipse but there are some use cases where they are um, let's say required and needed Okay, so thanks for watching, see you in the next video.